Today we're going to be using a 2006 Mac Pro that I recently bought for $190. These machines were workhorses back in the day and have basically the same design as the Power Mac G5. Unsurprisingly, a lot of professional music studios still use these as they are super easy to upgrade and seem to be very reliable. So, what's it like using one of these in 2017? Let's find out. From a design standpoint, the all aluminium enclosure is still very sleek and modern, be it a bit heavy at 42 pounds or 19 kilograms. Inside, you've got a total of eight RAM slots. This particular machine is loaded with 14 gigabytes of DDR2 ECC memory. There are a total of four SATA hard disk caddies and two optical drive bays. The graphics card is an upgraded from stock ATI Radeon HD 5770 with 1 gigabyte of GDDR5 memory, which is also worth slightly more than the machine itself as many of them still sell for over $200 in Australia. The Mac Pro is also running two dual-core Xeon 5150 processors, clocked at 2.66 GHz, for a total of four physical cores. On paper, this machine should be able to chew through most modern-day tasks with ease. However, that's not exactly the case. More on that later in the video. Unlike Apple's latest machines, this one has a very generous selection of ports at the front and back. Starting at the front, we have 3.5mm audio, two USB 2.0 ports, FireWire 400, as well as 800. Around the back we have three more USB 2.0 ports, FireWire 400 and 800, optical audio in and out, 3.5mm audio in and out, as well as dual gigabit ethernet slots. A very diverse selection of I.O. if I do say so myself. If you want to get the most out of this system, I would definitely recommend putting in a USB 3.0 PCI card into one of the free PCI slots. In Cinebench R15, the Mac Pro scores a total of 262 on the CPU, as well as 34.93 FPS on the GPU, putting it well behind most modern machines. But synthetic tests are not everything. When it comes to gaming, Minecraft runs totally fine with frame rates above or around 60 FPS. CSGO fails to load, apparently that may be an issue with Mac OS 10.7.5. I would upgrade the OS further, however this is the latest version of Mac OS that'll work on this machine, which does mean a lot of newer applications just won't support it or are phasing out support for it. Thankfully the 11 year old Mac Pro can still edit 4K video relatively well in Adobe Premiere CS5. With the playback resolution turned down you could totally get by with this. Playing back 4K videos also works great, even being played from the internal mechanical hard disk. YouTube playback is also decent in 1080p. For the money, this desktop is a true bargain, and if you aren't too big on gaming, it has more than enough power for basic content creation as well as consumption. Thanks once again for watching. If you're new here, feel free to subscribe, and if you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like below. Now that my channel is starting to gain some momentum, I'll try to upload more frequently, perhaps two to three times per week. Also yesterday I was featured on the YouTube trending page, which is super cool. I'll see you in the next video.